back. Today is Monday and I am on my way to my first daycare patient. Um, so my assistant is on vacation so therefore I have to see all of my daycare patients and all of her daycare patients. It's summer so a lot of the patients are on vacation and things like that so instead of me being in one location today for four hours which is typically what I do I'm usually there two to three hours I am gonna be going to three different daycares this morning This is the reality of how I provide therapy. This is a hallway of the school. Um, they were nice enough to give me a table, but it's the back hallway of a school. As you can see, there's a classroom right there, and the kids are loud, but you know, you work with what you got. So she is three years old. She has um, a mixed receptive expressive language delay. We are working on combining um, word combinations and this is in Spanish. If I said that already. Okay, mira, vamos a hacer esto. ¿Qué quieres hacer? Quieres jugar con el pleito? Okay. Cada vez que haces una frase, te voy a dar un pedazo de pleito. ¿Está bien? Sí. Okay. ¿Qué quieres hacer? Figuras. Okay. Entonces, vamos a hacer esto. Yo lo voy a decir primero y entonces tú lo vas a decir, ¿ok? Ok, siéntate bien. Ok, perfecto. Y ahora vamos a ver. Vamos a usar los bloques para presentar las palabras, ok? okay. So I'm going to use these blocks to symbolize each word in the phrase. So that you can have that tactile and that visual. Ok, listo. El niño está comiendo. Ahora tú. Muy bien. So she's doing it, but she's doing it in a very low tone. Otra vez. El niño está comiendo. And I'm with my second patient. He is seven years old. He has a voice disorder. He has a harsh vocal quality. So we are always going with, got our water. I got my water also. We always go over vocal rest, so I have him with a home program of vocal rest, vocal hygiene, vocal safety. Every time I see him, we go over it, and then we start on the resonant voice therapy, which I work with frontal focus with him, a lot of humming and things like that. I'm utilizing the voice therapy workbook from a Temple Voice Center, Christos. Okay, so let's do Buzzes, remember, so you want your mouth to vibrate. Your nose and your mouth are going to be vibrating. So, for example, hum. Are your lips vibrating? Good. Do they tickle? Ready? Perfect. Again. Hum. Good. Now, do you feel that frontal focus? Do you, see, yes. you feel it vibrating? Okay. Good. Take a nice deep breath, sit up properly. Remember, breath from where? Your tummy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go up. Super good. It is words, and he has to use that humming on the word, on the M sound. Okay. So. What do you think? That's a pumpkin and a pumpkin? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so remember. My. Okay, so I'm with my third patient of the day. Go ahead and eat. My third patient of the day. I've been treating him for two years. He's five years old. And we work on, he has a frontal lisp. Um, so obviously he distorts the S, the Z, 
um, he distorts the CH and SH. However, he's five years old, so we are targeting the S and the Z. I use the cycles approach, and I just found this, which I'm going to give to mom so she knows. I found this on TBT. I'll link it below. It's super good for mom. I also wanted to go over with you guys that I give these little notes to my parents at the daycare so that they know what we worked on. Um, I also send them videos um, and pictures so that they know what we did that day. So the stimuli, I don't provide him with the picture. I don't show him the picture, even though I have it out here, because due to decreased vocabulary skills, he may not know what it is. So I provide the model. We do it together. I have him look at me. I have him look at me in my mouth for correct placement. And we do drills, 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 drills. I'm looking at the paper. You ready? Oh. oh, but remember, I'm going to say the words. You're just going to listen. Open your ears, and I will say the words. Are you ready? Okay. Salt. Ice. Kiss. I don't know how to open my ears. <laughs> your ears are open. Just listen. Juice. Face. House. Bus. Ice. Ice. Good. Ice. Ice. One more time. Ice. Ice. Oh. Uh, Ice. Ice. Good. I don't want to know. I need to So, a few months ago, we weren't even stimulable. Here? I was just eliciting it by doing TS words. So, final TS words, um, even makeup oh, words, like instead of stop, I would say t sop. Okay, you did phenomenal with that final S. Washed, and I'm back in my office. I'm getting my lunch, but I'm trying to empty out the stuff that I got from Five Below. Let me show you what I got at Five Below. Hold on. Ready for school. This is a lot of like. So these are for like semantic categories, and things like that. Just things that I could implement fast with the kids. Um, so that's for three and five. And then I got activities. Some kids love doing this. So even though it's not speech stuff, it's more fine motor. I have some kids that love these types of things for rewards. I also got Kerplunk, which you saw me using earlier. I got this guy. I got these. So I use these for everything. Um, I use them for pronouns, like I put them in the spot, like he has the fish, she has the fish. So I wanted to get more. I got a dry erase board and Lysol wipes and a bunch of slime. And so I'm thinking of putting this guy there. Um, I'm gonna do a room tour. So don't worry about that. And about this thing. I don't know why I bought this thing. I don't know why. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. I just thought it was super cute. Uh-huh. Okay, mirame. Mira mi boca. Mami. Da me. Mami. Otra vez. Da me. Mami. Mejor. Aquí. Aquí. No. No. Aquí. No. Ahí. Ahí. Ahí sí. ¿Listo? Sí. Yeah. Dame. Dame. Mejor. Dame. So I'm just working on those two high frequency words. Right, 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 In Spanish, right. it's give me and more. Dame. Dame. For proper pronunciation. Dame. Muy bien. <laughs> you ready? Soap. Okay. So. What do you do with soap? So. Wash your hands or dry your hands? Wash your hands. Good. What do you do towel. with a towel? Towel. What do you do with a towel? Towel. Dry your body or wet your body? Dry body. Good job. Dry your body. What do you do with scissors? Okay, then the next thing on the language hierarchy is um, attributes. So I'm going to work on 
and then try to target it both ways, receptive and expressive. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my student. <laughs> Half the time I'm talking to myself, but it's pretty funny. What? Okay, ready? Show me the small house. Good. This house is? Perfect. Show me the big house. Good. This house is? Big. Perfect. Show me the long pencil. Good. This pencil is? Two. Long or short? One. Long. Good. One. Show me the short pencil. Short. Try again. Short. Short. Okay. This pencil is? Short. Okay. This car is? Correct. Long or short? Long or short. This um, car is? One. Long. Good job. Show me the short car. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Do you need a tissue? Tissue. I need a tissue. I need a tissue. Um, Okay, so we're gonna work on prepositional phrases. These are already at 90% accuracy given minimal yeah. support. <laughs> if you do it today, at 80 or above, you get you master this goal, okay? See, you have a What we're talking English. You ready? But the Spanish is good. Yeah, your Spanish is good. Where is the bird? English is good than Spanish. Yes, both languages are good. Why? Do you want your other happy face? Yes. Okay, so where is the bird? Inside in there. Good. Inside of the cage. Where is he? Inside in the cage. Inside Plane. of the cage. Oh, he's playing? Yes, he's okay. playing. Where are the cookies? Cookies, cookies, on top. On top, good. Okay, where are the cookies? Between. Good, between the jar and the milk. Where are the cookies? Next to. Perfect, next to the jar. Where are the cookies? Inside. What do you get? What do you get? Slime, slime. Which slime do you have? I like that one. Well, I'm, I'm going to take it home. No. Why? This is my slime. Guess this is your slime. Mm -hmm. So what do you say? Give me. Give, give me. me, please. Give me the slime, please. Give me the slime, please. So we are using his communication flip book to produce three word sentences. Three or more is what we're working on. Okay, so what do you want? I, good, want more green. Perfect. I don't have slime on this board, so I'm, we're just saying it's green, right? What color is this? Want, it's green, good. More green, perfect. Okay, you ready? What do you want? More green, perfect, I. Want more green. Look. Put in. Good. Put in. Put in. 